Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Corey and today we are in Kashiwa City in Chiba Prefecture and uh, we are going to visit uh, Donki. So Donki is the Japanese way that people say uh, Don Quixote and it is kind of like a, a big uh, store that sells everything from uh, groceries to snacks, um, souvenirs, uh, you can buy like home goods, kitchen supplies, uh, you can buy bicycles, like all kinds of stuff for your house. And there's even um, an adult section in there. So uh, today we're going to visit this donkey here behind me. And uh, yeah, let's go. So coming up on the entrance of this one, we've got a big aquarium here. Kashiwa Aqua World. Wow, look at that. It's pretty cool. So I've noticed that several Don Quixote's that I've been to have uh, some kind of a fish tank or something on the outside of it. There's one in Asakusa that has a, like a moray eel inside. So that's one. There's another aquarium over here. Um, on the outside they've got uh, a variety of like warm clothing on sale for the winter and stuff. So yeah, and then they also have uh, masks. Three pack for 399 yen. Yeah, so um, here's the other aquarium right here, the smaller one. And my god, that is bright. Okay, let's go in. So during this tour, I'm going to try and give you a highlight of all the things that exist here. But uh, obviously I'm not going to go into like every single detail. Um, there's a foot pedal here. All right. With the alcohol sanitizer uh, spray. So as we come in, um, you can see this place is just already sensory overload with the signs, the like the signage, I should say. We've got cell phones, like all kinds of stuff. What is this? This is for the iPhone 12, crystal glass. This is a good place to come for cheaper things. Uh, Donkey is very famous for the price. Lots of stuff and then the price is usually very reasonable. There's so many cell phone accessories, things for games. Uh, we've got smooth flick cap for your fingertips if you wanted to play like a cell phone game like that. We've even got uh, cell phone VR headsets. So they've got everything here. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's try to go through it relatively quickly because this store is big. There's several stories inside of here. Oh my god, this is a tight fit. Ugh. Okay. And uh, there's a lot to cover. So, yeah. Um, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below what you uh, enjoyed watching during this uh, video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this and other content from Japan. So yeah, that was a pretty loud in there. They're jamming some music. I probably will get flagged for copyright. Who knows? Yeah, so this is all food down here on the first floor. I'm gonna go up and then work my way down. It's probably what I should have done earlier. But uh, let's see. Okay, so there's three stories. Uh, we've got men's bag stuff, um, the home goods. All right, let's just go up. So you guys can see how this is mounted. This is a clip right here on my bag. Right, second floor. Let's go up to the third. Okay. 
where do we start? I guess we'll go like counterclockwise. So, what am I even looking at? Oh, these are warm leggings for uh, winter. It's kind of the men's section. They do have a uh, kind of some stretchy underwear. Keep your junk nice and tight. Uh, what is over here? Oh, it's leg slimmer things. That's so loud. Well, I guess if you wear this, it makes your legs skinny. <laughs> yeah, so pantyhose section. Yeah, more uh, kind of uh, exercise clothing and stuff for like jogging outside in the winter time. It's kind of like Under Armour material. Stuff just breathes real easily. Keeps you warm, but also, uh, you know, you don't soak up your clothes and stuff. Yeah. And so the, the funny thing about Donkey is that you can get just like all kinds of wacky stuff in here too. So here's the men's uh, boxer section. They got some interesting old school Japanese patterns. But uh, where's the more funny stuff? Uh, here. <laughs> burlesque boy so it's got the tengu mask and uh you can see this is what it would look like and so i guess your junk goes inside of his nose there's another one banana awesome banana is that the weirdest one what's the weirdest one here open the zip oh it's just a zipper oh, that's, i guess easy access And um, it looks like we've got a s erect snake and a dirty chicken. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, there's another one here. What is this? Naughty beaver. So yeah, you can find uh, some funny things like this. And we're not even in the, the adult section, like uh, sex toys and stuff. Just some ramen boxers. Yeah, so lots of fun stuff. Uh, what's back here? Uh, socks, lots of socks. There's different kinds of... Uh, do Is this Doraemon? It's the, the Umai snack character. There's some Pikachu up there and Spongebob. Yeah, what is this? Uh, oh, these are, um, uh, what are they called? I don't know, like skorts or something like that. Uh, it's essentially shorts you wear underneath your skirt. Yeah, let's get out of that section. I look like a weirdo touching girls' things. Uh, here's some pretty cool Japanese themed stuff like ramen candy. Uh, cream stew. <laughs> Like, this is just packaging from food that you can find in the supermarket. Hokkaido cream stew. Socks. Uh, miso soup. Cocoa. There's some milk. Tea. Lots of stuff here. We've got like a... Kind of like pokey sticks. So those are fun. Lots of fun. Uh, whoa, it even wraps around here. There's even more. I'm keeping my eye out for like the more ridiculous looking stuff. Like, you know, a lot of these are pretty cute, but down here, what is this? We've got sandwiches. Oh, it's a yakisoba sandwich with egg and the uh, ginger. What is this one? It's a fruit sandwich. Very interesting. Yeah, so you could spend like all day in here if you wanted to. Man, there's more socks in here. Uh, they do have an underwear section for the women, uh, undergarments. There's uh, panties and bras. Uh, here's, uh, like, what are they called? Like, bra fillers, I guess. Make your bus look a little bit bigger. Fill in your bra. 
Um, yeah, okay. Uh, what else? Let's see what's back here. Okay, more underwear for women. Thongs. I saw some thongs. And uh, there is a lot of music in here right now. Okay. But yeah, you can get some uh, Adidas and stuff. I don't know if this is official. It might be knockoff. I have a feeling it's knockoff. But I could be wrong. I, I don't know. But uh, yeah, you can get like a Adidas zip-up hoodie for $6,900. It seems like the same price from the store, huh? down there clothing clothing you guys can use your imagination here um, there's clothes yeah sometimes these uh, aisles are pretty tiny I have to figure out how to get through it Ugh, okay more socks more socks so yeah you guys get it this is the clothing section um, some of the stuff's a sale, like this is a sale section right here. Um, this looks fake. Yeah, that's super fake fur, which is good, I guess. Better than real fur. Okay, we're... It's, it's bigger than it seems. Like as you start walking around, you realize, oh my God, this place is like pretty big. Um, here we've got some interesting, more cute kind of shirts. Here's some uh, Crayon Shinchan, Doraemon. These are like full print shirts. Um, I really like this. Laughter and sex to save the world. Nice. So yeah, you can get some pretty funny shirts in this area. Yeah. So here we've got the Jagariko uh, giraffe. Th this guy's a mascot for like a like a chip brand. Coca Cola. There's the uh, Pico candy girl, the milky candy girl. I guess I don't know what her name is. I forgot. So yeah, fun, fun, cute stuff. I don't really see a lot of people wearing these things. I think because it's like cheap. Um, yeah, I don't know if like kids are wearing these things. Uh, they've got the, uh, the choco ball, um, little like crow. This is a candy. It's an almond cover, uh, chocolate covered almond called choco ball. I grew up eating that. Oh, there's a hat that says Kashiwa. That's cool. Um, what is this? Oh, we got Animal Crossing here. Yeah, so they've got uh, some AC stuff here, Animal Crossing. Here's the designs. Oh, they even have Animal Crossing um, socks. Poop? You guys want poop? Poop shirts. Unchi san. The poop. There's more, more poop. You guys like poop? Give the video a thumbs up. Okay, we got some bags and. More bags, bags, uh, hats. This is good. I should come back here later. I'm looking for some new hats. The one I'm wearing right now is uh, more than a year old. So it's about that time to upgrade. Huh, okay. Um, 
Let's just kind of look through the back section just quickly. Shoulder bags, tote bags, uh, messenger bags. Yeah, these are actually really nice. They're like 20, 30 bucks. Uh, luggage, if you guys want some luggage. This is probably the place to get cheap suitcases and luggage. And, uh, okay. Let's venture out of here. Yeah, so this is like the travel section. They've got travel pouches and um, sleeping pillows for your neck on the plane. That kind of stuff. Uh, straps to tie in your bag. You guys know the deal. Okay. So this business attire, suit jackets, dress shirts. Uh, why do these have Dragon Ball on them? Dragon Ball necktie. It's got the Dragon Ball logo on it too. What, what's so Dragon Ball about this? Does a character wear this in the show? Oh, here at the end, it's Picoro. What? Okay. That's interesting. Oh, they've got one piece as well. Huh. Okay. And uh, what's what's down here? Let's see. Oh, God. Squeeze umbrellas. School shoes. Here's more shoes. Crocs. Lots of uh, Crocs. Are these official Crocs? Oh, they, say, they do say Crocs on them. Yeah, so... Good to know. Yeah, the shoe... shoe uh, bleh, I can't speak. The shoe section is pretty big. Um, I bought my dress shoes from Don Quixote. They're very affordable. Usually dress shoes for men, like they're like over a hundred something dollars. So here I got them for like 20 bucks or something like that. something like that oh, I have hiccups so can you get like name brand shoes like Nike like Air Maxes or something um, I'm not sure I don't think so I don't think that they have that kind of uh, like a partnership with with the donkey brand like they, they do have New Balance I see New Balance but I don't see anything like yeah, I don't see Nike. Oh, here's Adidas. Okay, I guess I spoke too soon. But how much are these? Like 50 bucks. Might have to come and get some of these. I need some new walking shoes. My my, my shoes, my Asics, are uh, falling apart. I've walked so much in them. Uh, if you guys want to help donate to my shoe fund for walking videos, by all means check out the PayPal link down below in the description box. Um, what else we got here? We've got a jewelry section. Accessories, sunglasses, necklaces, I guess. Silver jewelry. Here's uh, earrings. What else is over here? Oh, they, they've got vape, vape stuff. If you guys are into vaping, I guess uh, you can come here. I don't know how good this stuff is. I'm, I'm not a vapor. I'm not cool. Zippo lighters. Man, I have not used a Zippo lighter in a long time. I used to do cool tricks with them. Like flip them open and light them at the same time in one one little spin of the, the fingers. Alright, some nice pens. Uh, okay. A 
whole bunch of different stuff. Armani, Louis Vuitton. I don't know if these are real, but they're priced like they're real. That's a thousand dollars, almost two thousand dollars. It might be real. Some Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Watches. Okay, there was a, a whole middle section here. Oh man, I gotta. Okay, I, I'm trying to remember where I'm at so I know exactly where I went and where I didn't go. Uh, they got a lot of nice G-Shocks here. I, I, I really enjoy G-Shock. I used to wear them back in the day when they first started coming out. And then they got just like way too expensive. Um, okay, so in this middle section, what is this? Perfume, perfume, perfume. Oh my god, that's a throwback. CK1. I was in high school when that first came out. Um, we've got, uh, what is this? Oh, aroma therapy kind of stuff, humidifiers. Um, incense, lotions, lotions for the skins. Uh, what is this? Uh, more, more incense and spray, incense boxes. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a headache walking around all this scented stuff. Diffusers, curling irons. Okay, so this is all kind of like beauty related stuff. We've got different mirrors here. Uh, we've got a bunch of vibrators. We know what that's for. Here's more. You know what that's for. Or do you? Am I just assuming you know what it's for? Alright, uh, did I cover the middle section? Okay, here's some makeup. Is this foundation? I think it might be. Let's see, lipstick. Um, I wish I knew more about this kind of stuff because I know some of you watching this are really interested in, uh, like, beauty products from like Korea and Japan and stuff or like you know what's available out here so I, I wish I could help you in, in talking about some kind of like product that's like oh wow this is only in Japan like I, I really don't know I'm sorry lash extensions more stuff uh, eyeliner mascara okay I hope uh, this video turns out okay, because um, it's the first time I'm strapping my camera to my body and then filming it in a store. Uh, here's stuff for people who work out. Abs, a lot of protein powder, a whole bunch of uh, protein stuff over here. Okay, so I think we kind of get the idea. There's just a lot of different stuff in this uh, store. And we're only on the third floor. We gotta go down to the second floor. Let me go all the way around. I think there's something I missed. I'm not exactly sure where it is. What section was it? Oh, it was here, straight ahead. Okay, I missed a completely... Oh God, where am I? It's a toy section. God, look how cute these are. It's so cute. So we got Disney stuff, Conan, Sanrio. Bento boxes, Hello Kitty bento box. Um, Kirby, 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 do you guys like Kirby? I like that Kirby just eats everything. Okay, um, let's 
see, what are these? Oh, these are 3D puzzles, like crystal puzzles. For example, uh, Cinderella. It's a 41 piece puzzle. So yeah, you can find some pretty interesting like paper puzzles. And it looks like uh, these plastic crystal puzzles. Just looking around, what is, oh, here's some uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba Demon Slayer stuff. What is this? It's just like a set. They've got uh, some kind of a handkerchief in there with a big button uh, of Nezuko and then a Nezuko keychain. 2,000 yen. It's kind of interesting. And then on the top here, they do have a lucky bag. The special bags, you really don't know what's in it. But it's Kimetsu no Yaiba something it's just like a mix of something you'll you'll never know what you're gonna get uh, yeah it looks like over here is more Kimetsu no Yaiba stuff so um, if you haven't seen my Kimetsu no Yaiba video before um, the link is right here in the corner of the video uh, just right now Demon Slayer is so popular in Japan it's being marketed all over the place oh And get uh, Tanjiro's coat. That's pretty cool. How much is this? Where's the price? Oh, it's right here. It's 2,480. Wait, is that correct? That's for t-shirts. So yeah, I don't know how much that one is. It's nice and warm though. Um, yeah, I just noticed up here there's also wigs. So if you do cosplay, you could get uh, the different characters' wigs. Um, anything else? Okay, this is more stuff. Uh, here's our Evangelion advertisement. Okay, I kind of did a circle here. All right. Uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba puzzles. It's everywhere. <laughs> Look, it's just. Everything is Kimetsu no Yaiba. How about over here? Oh, yep, more Kimetsu no Yaiba. Bunch of buttons, pins, um, clips, so many accessories. Uh, what is this? I don't know this anime. Uh, they've even got Kimetsu no Yaiba phone cases. You can even get the glass and bumper cover to match as well. Wow. Talk about obsessed. All right. So as you can, as you can see, the, this, uh, this toy section is pretty loaded with stuff. Uh, jigsaw puzzles, what is this? Oh, we got Budori and some weird, uh, that's a really ugly drawing. Um, <laughs> Okay. Oh, Pikachu! Do you guys like puzzles? I haven't done a puzzle in a long time. Hey, it's uh, Gegege no Kitaro. I used to love that anime back in the day when I was a kid. Uh, we've got another one here. Is this. Is... Okay. Okay. So this is a lot of puzzles. Wow, this is more puzzles than I've seen in a very long time, guys. So many. Gustav Klimt. And uh, of course, they've got all the different frames here. So for your finished puzzles, you can frame it, hang it up on your wall. Man, Don Quixote needs to hire me. I should just like market them. Come on, guys, check out all this stuff. Kids toys, kids toys, here's cars, car models, RC cars, some more uh, Gunpla, uh, Gundam plastic models, a lot of hobby stuff. Now this is cool, I saw this recently, it's a cup of noodle plastic model. 
it's literally everything it's even like the logo is everything is separated and you put it all together and you even have the shrimps and stuff how cool is that huh this thing is a uh, 1760 yen so it's uh, like a little over 50 so 15 dollars 16 dollars nice RC car supplies, model paint, uh, what is this, a paintball, oh yeah, paintball and BB, like airsoft, is, is a huge hobby here still, I used to have these kind of things when I was a kid, like hop up guns and whatnot, so yeah, these are not real guns guys, Gun, real guns are not for sale in Japan, just letting you know, those are all plastic and they shoot BBs. Uh, what is this? Oh, darts. Lots of different darts. I should get one of these. Oh, LED dartboard. That'd be kind of cool in my house. Um, another thing I wanted to point out was, oh, wait a minute, distracted. Uh, I wanted to point out um, costumes. So they do have uh, these different costumes, different wigs and stuff. Uh, Japanese love these kinds of things. Like here we can get uh, hair like Son Goku or Vegeta. I don't know. It looks more like Vegeta. I think. I can't even tell. Oh no, it's just a uh, uh, Nesan <laughs> cap. Is this the guy from Katamari? Kind of looks like it. But yeah, so you could dress up like anything <laughs> uh, if you wanted. A schoolboy, a schoolgirl. I don't know why you wanted to dress like an elementary schoolgirl. Um, and, and it's funny that it's a dude in that outfit. Got a party hair, afro wigs. What else do they got here? Uh, is this supposed to be Colonel Sanders? <laughs> what? Uh, oh yeah, look, we got the V-strap. This one is for my friend Jason V-neck. Streamer and friend from Sasebo, Japan. He wears this sometimes in public in San Diego. Because he'd be crazy like that. Um, is this camouflage? It is, the invisible man. <laughs> Ah, oh, hey, look, so um, you guys know Filthy Frank? Yeah, I think he got his pink costume and whatnot from Donkey. So you can get that here. Uh, oh, here's some Gegege no Kitaro characters. Uh, I'm looking for like what's really funny here, like kind of Daidenja, like Power Ranger stuff. Prince, if you guys want to be a high school girl, this guy wants to be a high school girl, apparently. Cheerleader, why do they have a dude? This guy's got like a five o'clock shadow on his face and his hairy armpits. It's pretty funny. So yeah, this gives you an idea of uh, just some of the funny wacky things you can find here. And then uh, they have some other stuff here. Um, maid outfit, cheerleader, nurse. These are all like sexy outfits. Um, more nurse stuff. Uh, what do we got here? Traditional overcoats. Um, what is this? It's a mosaic um, bath towel. So it looks like your, your body's pixelated. Um, more sexy stuff, sexy, sexy nun, playgirl, uh, sorry, playboy bunny, I guess I should say. Uh, what's, what's over here? Just some random shit. Uh, 
More. I think this is the more sexy stuff. Yeah, I won't go into this too much, even though, yes, the girls are cute. Uh, you guys get the idea. Um, sexy outfits. Okay. Did we go all the way around? Uh, Tomika. These Tomika cars are really popular for collectors. There's, you know, it's, it's like the Japanese version of Hot Wheels, and there's just so many different ones. And I know some people really, really hunt down some rare ones. So if you're coming to Japan and you're like a collector for Tomika little cars, uh, this is the place. Uh, okay, let's kind of briefly run through this here. What do we got? We've got little, uh, little skateboard things. Frisbees. Uh, party party supplies, a lot of fun party stuff for decorations in your house. Is this a party popper? Oh my god, powerful dokan. Yeah, this is one big ass party popper. <laughs> you just pull that and I guess it just shoots a bunch of tassel and confetti. Wow, those are huge. I've never seen any that big. Here's some kind of smaller ones. Wow, very interesting. Okay, glow sticks, card games. Uh, I think we're done with this, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. It does wrap around a little bit over here. What's over here? Uh, this is the bargain section. Oh, this place looks like all the, the stuff that doesn't ever sell. <laughs> uh, but they do have some, some kitchen stuff. Strainers and other things yeah okay uh, uh, anything interesting they've got a soba fountain the, uh, sorry solmen I should say solmen noodle cold noodle fountain here and it just rotates the water and you scoop up and eat with the tsuyu dipping sauce oh here here's the actual thing yeah that's interesting All right, let's, uh, I think we did a full circle on the third floor. So let's, let's go down to the second floor. It's overwhelming guys. It really is not going to lie. Even like trying to make the video for y'all, it, it's really overwhelming because um, there's so much to talk about and show. So we've got uh, some simple furniture stuff for your house. Yeah, this is more like furnishing, home furnishings. Shelvings, uh, floor tables. I need a floor table. I do not have one. But these are kind of pricey, like 3,480 yen for this size. I could get like a big one used for cheaper than that including delivery price uh, from like the secondhand store. So I was thinking of getting one to do some eating videos at home because I don't have a dining table. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Two-seater sofa thing. Beanbag chair. Uh, here's some office chairs, like an executive office chair for about $100. Not bad. Okay, what else? Uh, carpet, matting, blank, uh, not blankets, uh, curtains, more rugs, cushions. Yep, welcome to the video where I just literally say what I see. Um, body pillows, cute animal uh, body pillows, it's comforters, mattresses, rolled up mattresses. Yeah, so you can get some pretty good stuff here. Uh, I myself sleep on a futon bed. And I am... Uh, 
eventually going to try to upgrade to like a regular like western style mattress okay so what do we got here uh oh this is like uh lunch stuff uh thermoses lunch bags here's a uh, bento boxes lots of different bento boxes Yeah, so in the kitchen section. So it's pretty crazy. Um, in your country, guys, where you live, is there a store that's like this? Something similar? It's just got like a bunch of crazy stuff in it. A bunch of random stuff. Oh, wow. This is uh, about 40 bucks for this huge pot for nabe. Yeah, that's for like party size. Yeah, I could spend all day here just talking about every little thing that I see. Um, I'm just kind of keeping my eye out for some of the stuff that, that looks more interesting and st stands out. Uh, this looks like, um, what do you call it? Uh, table mats. So this one is uh, like a tortilla and I guess they have a uh, lettuce tomato salmon um, that's kind of interesting oh since I'm here I do uh, I need to get like a French press not today not today not while I'm filming So yeah, in Japan they do have um, like a stove like this. So it's usually like two burners and then it has like a little uh, broiler drawer here for like fish and chicken and whatnot. I have one like this at my house. And uh, so they have this kind of splash like guard, foil splash guard for um, protecting your walls from oil. And so yeah, you can probably like those kind of protective things here. Um, it's good to switch out some of those things after like six months or something. More kitchen utensils. Pots and pans. Uh, any? I'm, I'm trying to look for like the wackier interesting things. Uh, you can buy a takoyaki kind of uh, cooker thing here. And just make your own little takoyaki. Okay, what's over here? Uh, pet section. So they do have a little pet section. We'll just briefly run through here. Hedgehog food, dog food, fish food, blankets, pet blankets, uh, pee pads poop pads oh my god look how cute these chihuahuas are the chihuahuas are my favorite uh small dogs i love all dogs but uh for for small size dogs chihuahuas are my all-time favorite okay uh doggy snacks My God, there's a lot. This is way bigger than I had imagined. Just like prepacked stuff for your cat. A lot of tuna, salmon. Whoa. Yeah, this is all for cats. This this entire wall is for cat food. It's all the wet food. Um, yeah, wow. People love their cats here. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is the auto section, car section. So you can get uh, helmets here if you wanted, which is good. If you're going to ride a motorcycle, by law, you do have to wear a helmet. And not just like a dinky helmet like they do in Vietnam, but like you have to wear like a proper, proper helmet. Uh, car chargers, um, ashtrays and stuff for people who smoke. 
car fresheners, air fresheners, I should say. Uh, cleaning supplies, wax. Okay, we've entered the bike section. Like I said, this place has everything. Yeah, so you could buy like a, a, a mama chari. It's like a mama bicycle um, with the basket in the front uh, for a little over $100. Usually the price from what I see is yeah, more like this, like nimanyan, like around $200. Which is very pricey. I bought my bicycle. It's a folding one. Um, I bought it online for a hundred dollars, and it serves me well. Uh, camera section. We've got stabilizers here for your cell phone, and a game section here. PlayStation, some Switch stuff, binoculars. <laughs> like I, I don't know what the the thought process is behind placing some of these things next to other things. Um, party DVDs is just literally like music videos and stuff. It reminds me of like those MTV jams. Do you guys remember those CDs from like the 90s? Some kind of gamer stuff, Razer products. Uh, we do have some kind of like cheap drones. These are not the major brands like a DJ, a DJI or anything like that. Bluetooth speakers. Um, earphones. Earphones, earphones. Lots of earphones. Uh, we've reached the TVs. My god. <laughs> They're talking about the suspension of the go-to travel campaign because of the rise in COVID infections. Uh, they're starting to reevaluate that idea of, hey, everybody travel around the country and now the infection rates are rising and they're like, uh, we'll, we'll still allow people to travel except maybe not to these certain places where the numbers are higher than other places. It's like, come on, just, just stop it entirely. Come on, guys, get your head out of your ass. LED lights. We've got uh, massage chairs. Hair dryers. Uh, here's some more kitchen stuff. Little takoyaki grills, rice cookers. My God. Okay, I gotta zigzag through this place. Kind of like a microwave with an oven, built-in oven, and a grill. Very nice. Uh, what is this? Uh, refrigerators. Here's a drink fridge. Can can drinks. Washing machines. This is like two hundred, three hundred dollars. Uh, ceiling lighting, that is so bright. Okay. This two-way sliding party people lantern. Does it turn on? Oh, that's cool. It doesn't turn on though, there's no battery. But I guess this kind of lights up the room and the ceiling. So cleaning products, uh, what is this? Uh, home office filing stuff. Uh, here's a bunch of heaters, like space heaters. Uh, these are all kerosene, kerosene power. They still use kerosene heaters here in Japan. This is like what I grew up with when I was a kid. 
back in the 80s and the 90s and uh, there's like always that distinct kerosene heater smell. Um, yeah, and then of course we've got the electric space heaters. So yeah, I have something like this in my room. Uh, it's much better than using the air conditioning unit which also has a heater built in because that just uses so much power. Uh, we've got stationary. School supplies for kids. Uh, school art supplies. Uh, pens, pencils. Okay, what else? Cleaning stuff. Okay. I don't know if we're finished with the second floor or not. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Uh, printer, printer ink. And did I miss something? Uh, routers, you can buy some routers here. Computer mouse, uh, keyboards, printers. Memory cards, lots of different memory cards. Okay, they do have a Christmas section. There's a lot of ornaments and decorations. Uh, here's some trees, so you can get like a fake tree, 150 centimeter tree. It's uh, like, I don't know, like five feet something. 210 centimeters, that's uh, more than two meters. My God, that song, holy crap, that <laughs> scared me. Christmas lights, now Christmas lights are really expensive in Japan, so, for example, this is uh, 100 lights. Um, yeah, it is uh, 100 light bulbs, and then uh, it's almost $40. It's pretty pricey. I had to move away from that speaker. It was like right above my head. So loud. Here's some pretty cool play. Uh, you can get some pretty cool stuff like Christmas card. Here's Snoopy with Mount Fuji. And Ampanman. These are pretty cool because they're like 3D. You can open them up and they're, there's uh, multiple layers. So Japanese cards are like on a whole different level. Um, we've got sexy Santa outfits randomly. Okay, did not expect to see this, but here it is. Ornaments, um, is 777, why, what is it, gold bars, gold bars and 77 and money. This is going to be my kind of Christmas. I just, I'm praying for Santa to give me money because I am broke. Uh, is this supposed to be Santa? Oh my God, that is scary. It's like a Halloween mask. So what is this? Uh, some kind of like Santa gangster? Yeah, I, I actually kind of like this black black Santa outfit. That's that's something you don't normally see. There's more stuff, more uh, kids costumes. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this cute reindeer kid. Yeah, it looks like here's a sale section. Um, yeah, so here's here's the jerry cans and the pump. This is for kerosene. You use this, uh, you can fill it up at the gas station or a, a mobile kerosene truck right arrives around your neighborhood. They fill it up and then you have fuel all the time at home for your heater. Okay, I think I did the full loop in here. Now let's go to the first floor. Now actually there is an adult section.
uh, which I think we missed. Where is it? Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking. But anyways, uh, yeah, it, it seems we missed the adult section, but it's okay. I can't really even show the stuff that's in the adult section anyways. Because there's just a bunch of P and V's and T's. PV's and T's. What does PV and T stand for? Let me know in the comments. Alright, how do we navigate this? Uh, we're gonna go counterclockwise again. Counterclockwise and then hit the middle section. That's kind of what I've been doing on each floor. So this seems to be the middle section. Okay. Let me, uh, let me get to the perimeter. Okay. So we started off here in the cell phone section. So let's uh, start in here with the like kind of food grocery section. Colored popcorn. You see that? There's all like Christmassy stuff. Caramel popcorn buckets. This is a is this a habanero donut? It's got a picture of a skull there. Habanero it's supposed to be really spicy. You die. Apparently you die. Um, let's see. Okay, so Ferrero Rocher. I don't know if I said that right, but you guys know this famous chocolate brand. We've got eight for 598 yen, uh, just under six dollars. Not bad. Not bad of a price. I've seen maybe double that in Korea for the price. Uh, here's kind of more Western stuff. There's some, I see Skittles, Hershey's, Toblerone. Uh, we've got the Cadbury dairy milk chocolate, lint chocolate. The Andes Choco Mint. Gummy Bears. Oh, they've got the dried mangoes from the Philippines. These are so good. I grew up eating these. These are so, so good. Yeah, so if you guys are looking for like the weird flavored stuff, um, you know, sometimes it's hard to find that in Japanese supermarkets or convenience stores. But if you come to Donki, you can find that stuff here. Because they usually have the stuff for tourists. This is alcohol. Yeah, this is a uh, flavored alcohol. These are kind of um, hard, hard drinks, hard sodas. I don't know the exact term I'm looking for. Uh, we've got wine. Liquor, Kahlua, Hypnotic, oh god, Jägermeister, what the hell is that doing here? Um, beer, whiskey, oh they've got soju, they've got the chamiso, this is uh, the grapefruit flavor though, the jamong, chamiso. When I used to drink, I just liked the like just straight up normal one like unflavored uh, the sweet stuff started coming out like a few years after I lived in Korea so I was there before the fruit flavors came out I remember that when it first came out and it like blew up um, okay. uh, sake more liquor 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 Japanese liquor I think we guys, uh, I think we get the idea. It's lots of liquor. Got some foods, produce, packaged, salad stuff, prepackaged uh, noodles for ramen, udon. Yeah, if you guys want to see like a full, full one hour 
and like 20 minute long supermarket tour, click this link in the top corner or check out in the description box. I did a full one hour plus uh, tour in a Japanese supermarket. And I do plan to make more videos like that, but in smaller markets, of course, because uh, one hour and 20 minutes was insanely long. But uh, I, I just didn't know that it was going to take that long to film. Uh, onigiri. Rice balls. Rice balls, rice balls. We've got a bento section here. Here's uh, desserts, like yogurt, uh, like flan. Sorry, I didn't mean to say yogurt. Yo uh, flan and like cream cakes and stuff. Custard. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of a small mini, mini, mini supermarket. Is it even super? What do you call a supermarket that that's not like full size? Is it just a market? <laughs> These are all frozen. Frozen stuff. Wow, it's an 800 gram bag of edamame for 370 yen. That's so cheap. I might need to come back and get that. Uh, we've got cereals. Now, Japanese cereals by Kalbi are not like your cereals like in North America and stuff. So they do have the grant, uh, you know, granola and grains and stuff. But then sometimes they add like weird things in there, and it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, so you can see, like, I'm trying to look for something similar to American stuff. American stuff's, like, full of sugar. They've got Hershey's Choco Bits. And uh, here's uh, Frosted Flakes with Tony the Tiger, but it's in Japanese they call it Corn Frosty. Corn Furosti. So it's not Frosted Flakes, it's Corn Furosti. So, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, and then they got these little... Chocoa, little choco Cheerios or something, and that's kind of it. Like you, they don't really have much else, uh, at least here. In some of the other supermarkets, you can find like Oreo cereal and some other kind of random stuff. But you guys get the idea. Uh, we've got ramen, 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 shin ramyun. You know that's the good stuff. Uh, they even have uh, the Korean buldak bokumyeon. Spicy, spicy. So plenty of noodles to choose from. Uh, here we've got rice, different bags of rice. Yakisoba, instant yakisoba. Uh, toilet paper sanitizer. Man, it is getting hot in here. I'm wearing my jacket. I'm starting to burn up. <laughs> um, yeah, dry goods, sembe, rice crackers. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. I know I'm just like breezing past like every aisle. Here's a dried snacks, dried fish, dried like squid. Uh, sorry, that's abalone. Uh, not abalone. Um, I forgot English. What is that? Scallops. Tried scallops. Nuts. How many grams is this? 120 grams of pistachios for 500. That's actually cheap. It's more like traditional, old school, like retro snacks. Strawberry brandy. Oh, these are good. These got liqueurs inside of them. Chocolate with liqueurs. Anpaman candy. Uh, more different candy. This is the Kit Kats. What is this? Onsenju. Oh, this is like a like a manju, but so it's like a like a bun with a sweet red bean paste inside of it. But it's the Kit Kat flavor. 
Okay, and they do have uh, this recent one here. This is a uh, sparkling wine Kit Kat. This just came out maybe last month, I think, or the year, the month before. It's fairly new. But yeah, different pokey, um, different flavored uh, gummy candies and throat lozenges and stuff. Uh, did I miss something here? I feel like I did. Oh, chips. That's what I missed. Chips. Yeah, lots of different flavors. Uh, some of these are more normal. Um, so my statement earlier about like the flavored stuff that you can find in Donkey, uh, I, I have to clarify, not all Donkeys have that stuff. It's usually more in Tokyo, where more tourists go. So. Uh, they tend to have those type of like flavored, like unique flavored products in Tokyo. Uh, I am way outside of Tokyo, so they don't really have a lot of tourists here. So you're not going to see some of those really strange flavors of Kit Kat or other things. Um, what did I miss? So, bath and body stuff, toothpaste, shampoo, face wash, uh, sanitary pads, um, just out of curiosity what's the price? Uh, 14 for 328 yen for the pads, that's like 3 bucks for 14, I don't know if that's good or not, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, diapers is also another thing that people want to know about prices. Um, so we're looking at like roughly ten dollars for how many are in there? I, I, I can't see the count of how many are inside, but yeah, okay. So roughly ten dollars for diapers. Also, don't know if that's expensive or cheap compared to your country. Please let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want some hair dye? They've got hair dye here. Color treatments. Pink color. If I had cool hair, I would totally color my hair like blue. I think blue hair is pretty dope. But alas, my hair looks like pubic's, uh, pubic hair. It looks like pubic's. I'm just going to call my hair pubic's from now on. Yeah, more uh, body spray hair treatment stuff. Body wash, body wash. Okay. Um, I think I'm kind of coming to the end here. Yeah, I think the only section I didn't really cover was the adult section. And you know, they've got like Tenga and like pocket vaginas and vibrators and that kind of thing in there. So uh, I wish I could share that with you guys. But alas, uh, it's probably not a good idea for YouTube. Yeah, so let's head out of here. Um, I touched a lot of things, so I want to use this uh, sanitizer spray one more time. Okay. Let's head out of here. Oh, the, the cold air feels so nice. So refreshing. Well guys, thank you so much for coming along with this uh, tour of uh, Donki here in Kashiwa City in Chiba Prefecture. Uh, if you guys had some questions or comments, please leave them down below. And uh, as always with all of my videos, please give them a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And um, yeah, uh, I would like to hear what you guys uh, thought about the video as well as uh, maybe some suggestions for future tours uh, inside of buildings and stuff like that. So uh, I kind of just want to show you like what things look like as they really are, you know what I mean? Um, 
So yeah, I guess that's my goal with my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you guys are all staying safe. Please stay healthy, wear a mask, and uh, have a happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.